Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid. I'm the founder of the Payless Movement. If you're one of my movement already, I thank you very much for being with us. And uh, if you're not, maybe you consider to join after the, watching this video. Because today we want to talk about uh, how to install digital journals and how to use them. There are loads of different digital journals out there, digital bullet journals they are called also and so on. And it's, a, it's a whole movement around it. And I tested many of them and I decided to build my own digital journal. And my target building this journal was that it should be clean, simple to use and multifunctional. So I get much more than a usual digital journal offers. So like, uh, for example, a project chapter and so on. So you will see this anyway. But now let's dive into it, how to actually install a digital journal. Doesn't matter which one, of course, I will use my own one, so you will see how to install this, but it applies to other digital channels as well. So let's dive into it. Usually when you bought a digital journal, you get any kind of download link. Either you get it per email or directly after purchasing it and so on. And if you open this on your tablet directly, and I, I suggest to do this this way because it's the easiest way to bring it into note, your note-taking app, you will just tap onto this download link and uh, download will start. Uh, in my case, if you bought it from me, it will take a minute uh, or a few seconds to load all these files because they are prepared specially for you. There will be a, a stamp on the bottom with your name and your transaction number on it. So you see it's licensed for you. And then uh, the list load. So in this case, it is my ebook bundle where you get everything, my ebook and the digital journal and all the templates and the paper like discount and so on. So this will all be listed in this download link here. Now we go to the bottom and there you see there are the both digital journals. And maybe you saw this already. When you buy the landscape version, you also get the portrait version. Or of course, when you buy the bundle, you will get both as well. So that's the reason why they are both. And now let's just test uh, the landscape version. I just tip on download. And one nice step, uh, tip on download, you have to wait a second again. Just keep in mind, this is a more than 450, think, uh, pages um, digital journal. But once it's loaded, you have everything here in the browser. So this is your digital journal. You download, you see the tutorial, how to use this digital journal in the beginning, and then it starts and so on. And now you can't do anything at the moment with the Apple Pencil. It's just inside your browser. So to actually use this digital journal, you have to go to the top right and there you just tap on this um, share button, you know, the, the, the button on the left side. And then you can choose here from your list uh, the note-taking app you want to open it in. Okay, if you don't see this, you see there are loads of apps in my uh, list here. If you don't see this, just go on the very right and there you can just tap more and then uh, here you can choose the apps you want to add or not to add. So just keep this in mind if it doesn't appear. And what you can do now, just press copy to note shelf. And then it asks you create insert here or create new. And it asks this if you have already a notebook open don't press insert here because it will just be integrated in your existing notebook and that's I think not good because it will be hard to delete all these 400 pages again if you didn't want to do this. So make sure that you press create new here. And what this does, it will just create a new notebook and open this new notebook. And there it is. Now you have the digital journal inside um, Note Shelf 2. And I will also open it in Notability to show you that it works the same way. You just tap on Notability. Notability will open and it will ask you again, add to another node. That's much better because it's actually asking you to which node you want to add it. And, um, but uh, as I said, in this case, you don't need it. Or create new node. So again, we press new node and it will ask what uh, pages should be imported. Of course, you need to import everything and then it will open in here. And the difference in Node Shelf is obviously that you have a vertical scrolling here and there's no horizontal scrolling, but it, you see it also fits 
the size perfectly for notability and you can jump around again. The difference is that notability offers you a preview um, once you tip on any hyperlink, so don't be uh, interrupted by this. That's nothing I created, it's actually inside Notability and I didn't find an option to switch this off. So that's the only thing, it will ask you, do you really want to go to page 28 and just press on this and you will jump to this page again. And then here you can just navigate like in all the other apps uh, as well. Let's just go back to uh, the Safari where I opened the journal in there and we go again here on the top and then we choose uh, copy to good notes and it's the same way it will open good notes and it will ask you should it uh, add in here or should it create a new document and we will create a new document and then it asks in which category we go to uncategorized and um, it's importing here and there we go it's ready to use and then you use the strike through pencil and what you now can do actually you tap on this and it will go full screen and now you also can navigate around the journal how the journal works is actually described in the very first pages i showed you this it's here where i describe all the buttons in the journal however um i just showing you here you have the different months on this year, so you can actually tip on February for example and we'll jump to the February month overview, which will always start on Sunday now. So you see um, the, the remaining days of the previous month, in this case it was January, and now you can even tip onto any of these numbers like the 28th of January here on this February monthly view and it will jump to the January um, weekly view so it is the week the last week and here you see on the in the week view of January on the on the end here that uh, it says February so you see Thursday and then you would see Friday and Saturday is already February and that's why it's overlaid here that you can actually tap on this and you will jump to the February week the weekly calendar and now you see only the two uh, calendar days for February, Friday and Saturday are available and January is now grayed out and you can just jump back to January a week view. That's, I just made this so you don't have to, you know, write it twice. Let's go back to the monthly view, that's easy. So um, we're in February, so on the left side here you see the big M, just press the big M and now you're in the monthly view again for February. If you want to go to any uh, day in February, you can use any number here on the left side. So it's 1 to 28 for February. We just choose 24th for example and now you see 24th is selected and you are on the daily view of February. And let's go back to month and when you press any numbers here inside the monthly view it won't jump to the day because you actually can choose this on the left side so that's enough but if you want to quickly jump into the week of this day um, you can just press the number inside the monthly view so in this case i'm just tapping here on the 23rd of january and it will jump to my weekly view where you see the 23rd of january included so which is actually and you see this on the left button here is calendar week the calendar week four so you can also jump in calendar weeks you see this and on the left side you also see all the days included in this calendar week so you see this on the left side 13 to 19 uh, 19th of january is in this calendar week number three so let's talk about projects during the year. Obviously, uh, I also have a lot of projects going on and I needed a dedicated section where I can track these projects. Because if I spread the information about these projects all over my digital journal, I can't find it uh, as I would, have, I would be able to find it in a dedicated section. So therefore you see the flag icon, the little one here on the bottom left, just press on this and you will jump to the project section and in here you can just write down test project and um, then we will just select this and copy and then just tap on the A and it will jump to the A project where we will actually import the project name and you see on the top left now the flag icon if you press there you will jump back to the 
to the project overview, press A, you are in the project again, press back and F and you press you know, you, you get the idea. So we are in the project section here now and now you can start writing. So for the project, obviously this uh, page is not enough to use for my projects. And also if you're in a, in, a, in a daily view, for example, and you write something here and everything is full, so all you have to do now is go on the plus button and then not new page, but use new page from template. And then you can choose any templates you like like landscape and you could choose this one for example and it will add this template here okay so that's the built-in templates from Nodechef already but if you want to use any of my templates let's go back here and here you see all these templates so all you have to do is now just um, here my favorite one sketch notes corner Press download again, it will open it. You have this in a preview in the, in the Safari. The thing is now with the template, don't try to open it in any of the note taking apps because this will just lead to the option to just import it again in an existing node. And this time we will scroll on the bottom here and then just press save to files. You can save it wherever you want. For example, on my iPad, and then you just um, save it, put it here in Excel, make your own folder or whatever. Important thing is you just have to find it again. Then we go back to Node Shelf. Just go um, here again, new page from template and then go to custom. And you see here already I imported it, but I want to show you again. Uh, just go to the plus button and then go to files in this case. You can go wherever you want, Dropbox or wherever you saved it. And then on my iPad where we just saved it in the Excel folder and there it is, template sketch notes corner. And I just call this sketch two for example. And there it is and then just tap the button and you will add a page with the new template which is specifically designed for this digital journal. And you can start using it without any problems. And here on the bottom right, you see I got the checkbox where you can just check that you have more pages. I just added this here. If you're seeing something here written, you see, oh, I have some more pages. So you swipe over, you don't forget it. If you bought a digital journal for me, you get the lifetime updates. This means this digital journal is obviously only for 2019. However, I will add more um, templates you can use in this journal but also here on the bottom left you see an icon with the star you just tap on this icon and it will open another link which is here the, um, the icons you can download from my website and i will also add different icons that you can use inside your in your site your journal so let's just show you you can just put this side by side and then just push and hold and then drag over and there we go. We have the icon inside our journal without any problems and you can have it here on the side or you know, even overlap it. And um, you can say, okay, that was a good day. We will use this plus button and so on. And then you can use this. So I will also use, uh, I will also add a lot more icons here. These are the things that I included in the lifetime updates. Everybody, I thank you so much for these awesome reviews I already received for this digital channel. It's insane. I, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't expect to have such a great feedback. I, I built this thing to use it on my own, to have something that I can use on a daily basis at work and it works for me. And I thought it will help you out there as well. And oh man, it seems a lot of people are happy using it. Uh, if you look through the reviews I already received on the shop side. So thank you very much for your support for you know buying this stuff it also will really help me greatly to keep going with this paperless movement if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions just hop to the comments below and leave me a question there i try to answer all the comments below and i the, the community we have on facebook as well they are so awesome so you will get an answer somewhere so until i made this tutorial actually people have been asking inside our facebook group how to install the digital journal and people have been helping out each other so i thank you very much everybody for helping others to install this but i hope with this video everything is now clear how to install the digital journal and how to use it so 
Stay awesome. I'm out.